I thought I turned off that damn alarm. <sighs> hey, where are you going? Come back here. Just a few more minutes. I don't want to get up yet. I know it's Christmas. That's the point. It's one of the few days I actually get to sleep in. So, come here. We can open presents late. I'll cuddle you. How about that? <laughs> Thought that'd convince you. Come on, rest your head on my chest. <sighs> That's better. Did you really want to open presents instead of staying in bed with me? I'm hurt. I guess I can forgive you, though. You always look so cute in the morning. Just laying in bed with you is enough to make my day. But it also makes it harder to get up. Even on Christmas. Looks like someone's already awake. She's probably running to see what Santa gave her. I haven't seen Aries so excited before. When I first told her about Christmas, she didn't quite understand it. But I think she's almost gotten the hang of it now. <laughs> she keeps getting the greetings messed up, though. Hmm, she told me Happy Easter the other day. I think she just wanted some chocolate and thought that's how you asked for it. I'm glad she can finally have a Christmas. She's been so brave trying to adjust to everything. I hope this will be a good reward for her. And I really appreciate all you've done to help out with her. Taking her shopping so she can pick out gifts for everyone, helping her decorate the tree, making gingerbread men with her. I can't always be around because of my hero work in teaching, so I worried I wouldn't be able to show her everything about Xmas. But you've really stepped up as another parent for her. I can't describe how grateful I am. This year, I've realized I have a lot to be grateful for, actually. You, especially. You're the best thing that's ever happened to me. You know that, don't you, kitten? I sometimes worry I don't show it enough. We're both always so busy with our jobs, and now airy. Not that I'm complaining. She's a blessing. But especially after all that's happened recently. All the times I've gotten hurt. I can't help but worry about what would happen if I wasn't so lucky. 
If I couldn't come home to you because... Hmm. Okay, you're right. No hero talk on Christmas. Today is about us and everyone we care about. <laughs> yes, including 1A. Don't you ever tell them that, though. <laughs> They'll never make me forget it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the party tonight. It would be good for the class to get together for something fun. I think the world forgets that they're just kids. They deserve to enjoy a holiday without having to worry about hero training or villains. For one day, they can just be kids. Speaking of parties, I forgot to ask. Did you have a good time at the staff Christmas party last night? I know it was your first UA staff party as my plus one. If I'm being honest, I didn't really want to go. But everyone was insistent that I bring you. They'd heard so much about you and finally wanted to meet you. <laughs> Are you kidding? They loved you. All I heard last night was how lucky I am to have you. Well, that and Mike singing. I can't believe he brought a karaoke machine. My ears are still ringing. If I never hear Jingle Bell Rock or Here Comes Santa Claus ever again, it'll be too soon. I swear he sang both at least ten times. <sighs> we definitely shouldn't have brought all that eggnog either. It tasted so good, we forgot about the booze. The whole party got a little out of hand. I think you and Midnight definitely broke that table you were dancing on. I'm surprised you tried to get out of bed earlier. There's no doubt you're a little hungover. Are you really that desperate to open presents? Huh? You're excited to give me my present? Kitten, I told you you didn't have to give me anything. You do more than enough for me. You're the light of my life. I don't want you spending your hard-earned money on me. You got me a new sleeping bag. A soundproof one. Thank you, kitten. That's so thoughtful. It means the world that you'd put so much effort into a gift for me. You're the best. You know that, don't you? What did you get, Ari? I saw you trying to hide it from her the other day. A Santa outfit. She'll love that. She might get confused with Halloween, though, since it's technically a costume. I've been meaning to buy her more clothes, actually. 
Maybe we could do some shopping on Boxing Day. It'd be good for her to pick out some clothes she likes. It might give her some more confidence. <sighs> but we can figure that out later. Right now, I just want to be here with you. I couldn't imagine a better place to be. I could stay like this forever. Morning, Harry. We'll be downstairs in just a minute. I'll make you some hot cocoa after we open presents. Happy Hanukkah to you, too. She'll get it eventually. I think that was the closest guess so far. <sighs> we better get dressed. We shouldn't keep her waiting too long for her first Christmas. I also promised her we'd go for a drive around to see all the neighbor's lights tonight. We can do it on the way to the 1A Christmas party. Sounds good. All right, perfect. Now, let's go before we sleep the whole day away. Did you enjoy the audio? All right then, remember to be a good kitten and subscribe to our channel for more. Oh, and don't forget, for our adult listeners only, if you want to access exclusive audios, go to patreon.com slash anagomi. For commissions, visit anagomi.com slash commissions and order a custom audio for yourself. Hope to meet you again, kitten.